Welcome back everyone to the 1v1v1 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe item tournament. Today we're tackling rounds 37 and 38 of the tournament here. For round 37 we have Baby Daisy with the GLA, Leaf Tires, and Paper Glider, and Inkling, not Inkling Girl, Phil, Female Villager, <laughs> Jesus Christ, on the blue team with the Sneaker, Monster Tires, and Cloud Glider. For the items on round 37, we have the Fire Flower on the red team, the Triple Red Shells on the blue team, and the Boo on both teams. I'd say this race will probably be pretty close, not gonna lie, but we'll see how that works. And for the GP, we have Wild Woods to start things off, GBA Riverside Park, Wii Warriors Goldmine, and SNES Rainbow Road. Let's get this started. All right, first race of the video here. Good luck to Baby Daisy. Good luck to Female Villager. Good luck to both teams. And let's see which item comes out on top. I have my bets on the Triple Reds, but I'm willing to give the Fire Flower a good chance here. Considering the Boo is on both teams, they both can steal each other's items. So this is probably going to be a very, very close uh, tournament here. We'll now starting things off, looks like Female Villager got hit by a Fire Flower there. Both competitors pulling boos here, double boos I should say. So that means their items will not get stolen because as you guys know, a boo cannot steal a boo. That would be kind of weird, honestly, if that were the case. Another thing is, if the boo cannot find an item to steal for a competitor that means their item will default to a mushroom which I'm actually glad they made that a thing in this game I think that's pretty fair not gonna lie because you never know you don't know what who's gonna have what you know you don't know who's gonna have something in this game it's not like with Mario Kart DS the boot was in that game and you could actually see what all the people had but in this game, you can't. Mark, in the original Mario Kart 8, you could if you use the gamepad, but this game, no, they got rid of that. So yeah, looks like Baby Daisy and Female Villager are in 11th and 12th right now. <coughs> ah, and just so you all know, for this bracket of the tournament, we are accepting two losers to come back. And this is the last round of this bracket. We already got one uh, loser coming back, which is the Golden Mushroom. It looks like Female Villager might have gotten hit by a red show. I, was, I wasn't paying attention there. But yeah, so as long as one of these items does not get auto-eliminated, that means all these items will be coming back. So yeah, pretty much, essentially. That's how this is working. Alright, well, it looks like Funky Cog is the last CPU here. So once he crosses the finish line, which is going to be right now, it is time for us to make a jump cut. All right, I accidentally did cut it quite in time, but yeah, Baby Daisy got 11th, Female Villager got 12th. Let's see the results. Ooh, things are looking pretty close right now. Let's see. Oh, only a two-point lead going to the blue team. That's not bad though. Like that is a very, very good. Very close. Very, very close. But we still got three more races to go. This could really go either way. Let's keep this going. All right. Race number two. We got Riverside Park. All right. Went from one woods track to essentially another woods track. We're just diving into nature in this episode here. Ooh. Baby Daisy got her fire flower stolen. Quite unfortunate. And speaking of Fire Flower, I think Female Villager actually got hit by one. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't paying that close attention, I will be honest. Ooh, maybe Daisy getting hit by a red shell. And Female Villager hitting one of those Patooies there. I think they're... Are they Patooies or Fooies? I forget. I think they're Patooies. Maybe Daisy getting hit by another red shell. Both of them hitting the Patooey there. The Patooey Piranha Plant. Oh gosh. Quite interesting. 
Yeah, I got my I got my volume completely down right now. Not gonna lie on my headset because I don't know what it is about me. But the past few days, my throat has been killing me, and my ears hurt too whenever I swallow. I might be getting a little bit sick here, but it's not really that bad. I could easily handle this. I haven't been taking any medication, so I might want to do that, but I hate taking medicine, so I'm going to pass on that. Maybe Daisy getting a draft, putting her in 11th place. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay. Ooh, both of them hit the Patui Piranha Plant. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, let's see. I do believe the CPUs are on their, they just finished, they're finishing up their final lap right now. Yep, they are doing that. All right, looks like Wario's the last one to cross, so we're gonna make another jump cut. All right, we are coming around the last turn now. Looks like Baby Daisy's gonna be getting the extra point here. Oh, hits a Patui Piranha Plant and falls in the water right at the end. Oh, that is quite unfortunate for Baby Daisy right there. She just completely missed out over that extra point. Ah, uh, looks like the blue team's gonna have a much bigger lead now. Ooh, ooh, wow. This could have went. This could have been 70 to 94, but nope. 69 to 95. So that is a 26 point lead going into the blue team. We still got two more races to go. Hopefully, the red team can avoid being a lot auto eliminated here. All right, third race here. Got Warriors Gold Mine. And yeah. Oh, I see Warriors in, in the rib right now. Can Wario get first on his own gold mine? I doubt it. But we'll see. Right now, Baby Daisy is in third place. Villager getting hit by a red shell, it looked like. Baby Daisy in eight that 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 fourth place right now. Villager in last place right now. If Baby Daisy can keep this up, Red Team might be able to get some good points here, but I highly doubt she'll be able to keep this up. Ooh, Baby Daisy getting hit by a Fire Flower. And get hit, gets hit by the Fire Flower once again. And a Red Shell as well. Oh, man. Quite unfortunate right there. Okay. Beady Piranha got a Fire Flower that he's chucking. Baby Daisy getting hit by another red shell. Not looking too good for Baby Daisy. Villager getting the draft off of her. Mm, quite interesting. All right. Ooh. Baby Daisy getting hit by yet another red shell. Gets hit by another one, but she had invincibility frames. Not enough invincibility frames for that red shell, though. Putting her, causing her to go into 12th. Villager moving up to 9th. Oh, but that bat definitely uh, hurt her a little bit. Getting hit by a fireball right there. Not too bad. Oh, and it looks like she might have gotten hit by another red shell there. Yeah, blue team's falling a little bit far behind here, but not doing too, too bad. Looks like they got top two right now. But I think red team got third through... Uh, Eight. Yeah, third through eight. The blue team got nine, ten, eleven, and maybe Daisy is, is in uh, last right now. Not too great for them. Not too great at all. All right. Can't really see a whole lot on the mini map here. All right. Looks like. Fuck. I don't think Funky Call got first. Kind of hard to see who's in 10th place. It might be Donkey Kong. Um, yeah. Kind of hard to tell. Although, both contestants here are getting kind of close to the end. So, I might just let this play out here. Because I, I couldn't tell what they, the CPUs were going to cross. But, yeah. Not too bad, looks like. Villagers get that extra point once again. 
And let's see the results here. Ooh, it looks like red team did a whole lot better. So that means they might be moving up. Went from a 24-point lead to a 22-point lead. Okay, so the red team made up a little bit of ground there. But I don't, that means they're not going to be getting auto-eliminated, which is good. So that means we're going to be having two, two uh, items coming back. Guaranteed. I don't know what would have happened if... I only had one. Not entirely sure. But yeah. Anyways, on to the final race of this GP. Alright. On to the final race of the GP. SDS Rainbow Road. What a great way to end off a GP. Rainbow Road track. Alright. Let's see here. Got, eight, got Villager in 8th. Oh. Baby Daisy getting the draft off of Villager. Baby Daisy really needs to get some extra points here. Although, I don't think the red team's going to be pulling this one off, unfortunately. Baby Daisy and Villager both getting hit by a red shell there. Hmm, quite unfortunate for both of them. Oh, God. Ooh, Baby Daisy getting hit by the Rainbow Thwomp. Ooh, both of them getting hit by a red shell as well. Looks like a revolving red shell. Both getting hit by the rainbow throp yet again. Okay. Let's see, Villager might be getting the draft, which she does. Baby Daisy might be able to get a draft here too. Well, let's see. Yep. Baby Daisy getting the draft. Villager getting hit by a red shell. Quite unfortunate. Okay. Oh, right now, let's see the... Well, we can't really take a good look at the mini map. Baby Daisy getting hit by the Rainbow Thwomp, causing her to fall back a little bit. But I think Villager might be getting hit by this Rainbow Thwomp here. So, that really didn't do much. All right. Looks like Wario is in 10th place right now, unless there's someone on the blue team behind him, which is entirely possible. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dry Modes might have been one and last, so we're going to make a jump cut here. All right, coming around the last quarter here, looks like Baby Daisy's going to be getting that extra point over Villager. All right. Let's see the results here. Ooh, red team actually got first, but I don't think it's going to be enough, though, unfortunately. Nope, not quite. They scored 155 to the blue team's 173. So that means the triple reds and the uh, boo both move on. But the fire flower does make a comeback because we needed two items to come back. And then actually, the fire flower is going to be the one that's going to compete as a normal contestant here. And the gold mushroom was the other item to come back, so they will be the mutual item on the next bracket. So yeah, good job to all three items here for making it back. It really wasn't that hard for the fire flower to come back, I'm going to be honest here. But yeah, anyways though, let's move on to round 38 of the tournament. All right. We are on to another wave of the bracket here for round 38. And our contestants today are Wiggler on the red team with the Prancer button wheels and the parafoil. And Morton on the blue team with the 300 SL Roadster, standard tires, and the plane glider. For the items on round 38, we have the Piranha Plant on the red team, the Star on the blue team, and the Boo on both teams. I think, honestly, the blue team's going to have a major advantage here. But since both teams are pulling Boos, can't really count out the red team. At least not yet, not right now, because, I mean, the race hasn't even started yet. But yeah, anyways, for this GP, we have Tor Paris Promenade, SNES Donut Plains 3, 3DS Rainbow Road, and N64 Rainbow Road. Let's get this started. All right, first race of the second GP, we got good old Paris Promenade, the first track in the booster course pass. 
So yeah, let's see how our competitors do here. I will say though, these races are probably going to be much quicker considering, yeah, both teams can pull, well, would you count the Piranha Plant as a speed item? I guess it would technically be a speed item because it does give you a boost every chop. I mean, obviously the star is a speed item, but yeah, basically both teams are going to be pulling speed items because the red team could steal a star from the blue team. But yeah, anyways, on to the race here. Morton pulling a star, which unfortunately gets stolen, but that means he pulls a boo right afterwards. Okay, Wiggle is in 10th place right now. Oh, 11th place. Catch it up to 10th. Someone's invisible, it looked, I think. It was Waluigi, he's invisible. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. <clears throat> Yeah, really, the red team's best chance of catching up is if they pull star, if they steal stars from the blue team. That's gonna be their best chance of catching up. Other than that, though, blue team definitely has the item advantage here. All right, ooh, Wiggler getting hit by a piranha plant there. Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate for him. Okay, looks like they're. Both competitors are going to be entering lap three here. Which lap three is where they drive the track backwards. And it looks like the CPUs are already starting to <clears throat> finish off here. Diddy Cog looks like he got first. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure who's in tough place right now. Looks like it's Waluigi, and he just so happened to pass, so we're gonna make a small cut here till we get to the end. All right, coming around the last turn here. And looks like Morton might be getting the extra point here. Good job to Morton. It's gonna give blue team a good advantage with the extra point. Ooh, red team not doing so great right now. But let's see the score. It looks like a six-point lead going to the blue team. Okay, it's not a terrible start for the red team, but they are definitely going to need to catch up in the next few races. On to the second race. Let's see how things swing. All right, second race. We got SNES Donut Plates 3. Go from one simple track to another simple track. Although, honestly, I'd say... Paris Promenade was more simple than this track. Ooh, both competitors getting starred there. <clears throat> Wiggler riding right up against Morton there. Not quite sure what his strategy is. Managed to get himself a draft. <clears throat> was Wiggler a male or female? Huh, I, I never really thought about that. Ooh, Morton getting hit by a piranha plant. Quite unfortunate. Okay. Uh, looking at the competitor at the CPUs, it looks like Blue Team got top two right now. Yeah, Blue Team definitely got themselves a major advantage since they have uh, the star, or well, they could pull the star. But Red Team's definitely not out of it, not yet at least. We'll see what happens. Oh boy. Huh, yeah. This is fun. This is so fun. And I i must admit, we only have a, only a few more rounds left in this tournament here. We're getting real close to the finals. And the semi-finals. We got, I think, this wave of the bracket, and then the next wave. And then after that wave, it'll be on to the semi-finals, and then the finals. Which, I'm not quite sure how things will shape up for there for the semi-finals and the finals, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Morton get his item stolen, his star got stolen. Quite unfortunate. <clears throat> but it looks like all, all the CPUs have finished, so we're gonna make a cut until we get to the end here. All right, coming around the last quarter here. It looks like Wiggler's gonna be getting that extra point. Let's see the results. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Red team didn't do too terrible here. Although the result is still not looking favorable to them. Now, it's still a six point lead. Yeah. Right? Yes. No. Eight point. No, it's an eight point lead now. <coughs> going to the blue team. So, red team lost a little bit of ground, but they're still in it. Two more races to go. Let's see what happened. Okay, up next here, we got 3DS Rainbow Road. A one lap track, well, section track. So we're going to just go through the whole thing here. It's, it's funny that we actually managed to get two Rainbow Roads in this GP. We got 3DS and N64, both Rainbow Roads being section. So yeah, we'll be showing off both, both of the races in entirety. But until we get to N64, we're just going to focus on 3DS right now. So we got Morton pulling a star. Wiggler might try to get a draft, although unsuccessful. Morton get his star stolen. Quite unfortunate. <coughs> but as you guys know, I can't use items because I don't want to make an impact on the race. You guys know the drill by now, though. Okay. We got, uh, yeah, Wiggler 11th, Morton in last. Looks like blue team got a top two right now. Oh, the red team's not doing too bad, it looks like. They're not doing too bad at all. Oh, blue team might actually have a top three, maybe. Not 100% sure. Wiggler moving up to 10th, passing Wario. Although that doesn't really do much for the standings. I'll be honest here. Okay. Both of the... Well, Wiggler has five coins. Morton has six. Both of them not going the glider... Off the glider portion of the tunnel. The tube, I should say. It's not really a tunnel. It's a tube. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Coming around the last quarter here. Looks like Wiggler is getting that extra point over Morton. Let's see the results. It looks like, ooh, red team got first. Blue team got second and third. Let's see. What are we looking at in terms of points here? Okay, a 12 point lead going to the blue team. One more race to go, it's still really close. Let's see which team comes out on top. All right, final race of the video. It's 64 Rainbow Road. <coughs> Let's see which team can come out on top here. <coughs> All right, both of them getting the item. Wiggler pulling a boo. Not too bad. Will the red team be able to catch up on points here, or will the blue team just run off with the win? We shall find out in the neck in about like uh, two minutes, I'd say. I'll give it two minutes. Ooh, Morton get his star stolen. Go into the go into the red team there. All right, let's see. Morton getting an item. What is he going to pull? Another star. Will it get stolen? Not 100% sure. Well, yeah, it did get stolen. And getting another item box. Both of the... Both of, uh, both of them are not in last place right now. Neither one of them. Wiggler's in 10th. Morton's in 11th. Ooh. I'm not quite sure what that was. I think it might have been a piranha plant, though. I think Morton got hit by a piranha plant. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Wigger at 11. Ooh, Morton got both of his items stolen. Not like it really mattered. All right, coming across the glider. Looks like... Wiggler got 11th, and Morton is getting last. 
Let's see the results here. I think blue team, though, pulled this off. We are going to need one item to come back. So right now, we have the Piranha Plant at 152 points. Not too bad. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this What? episode of the 1v1v1 item tournament if you did be sure to like and subscribe to it next time where we tackle rounds 39 and 40 of the tournament see you all then